guys, it's Kelsey the Happy Hobbit and I am back for the first time since maybe October or November. I definitely took a break from YouTube, not really intentionally, it was just I got so overwhelmed with so much other stuff happening in my life, you know, work-wise and just I work retail so holiday time is just so draining. And if I'm being completely honest, I still don't know if I've gotten my 100% energy back, but I think I'm almost there. And I've had a lot of time to think about how I wanted to reapproach doing this whole booktube thing um, and a couple other things that I really want to try and dedicate myself to for this year. So, yes, it's been a while since I've recorded, so. I feel like I'm kind of starting back at square one, but that's okay um, because we, we learn by doing and we learn by, you know, trying different approaches sometimes. So what I'm really here to do today is just kind of speak aloud what my goal is now that I have actually sat down to pick up doing another video. And that needs to be consistency. I think when I started and I did the booktube newbie tag, I had mentioned making progress and not trying to make things perfect and I am a perfectionist to a T, um, sometimes to my downfall, which I very readily <laughs> admit. So I've decided that this year I really just need to let that go. I need to just do to do and not do something to perfect it. I need to be consistent with the things that make me happy. You know, when I started doing this, I really was happy making videos and editing them it was a lot of fun. And I made a couple of pretty good friends on here who I really liked interacting with. And even though I've only had a couple videos posted, I feel like I had a little spot like in this little booktube world. <laughs> Uh, so I do miss that. Um, so my goal is to definitely be more consistent, taking the time to sit down and to think out a video and to sit down and take the time to read. Um, I've really been doing that the last couple of weeks and really zoning myself back into why I even started the YouTube thing and really just putting my mind mentally back on track that it's okay to do other things than just work because I feel a lot of the time that that's all I do. So I'm just trying to mentally and verbally make it known to not only you guys but to myself that I'm going to do better for myself. I want to make this, you know, one of my priorities. Not only this and reading but I really love bullet journaling. And it's something that I would do one week and not the next week. And I would get really into it and then I would just be like, eh, whatever. Just let it go. We'll do it next week. So it was not a good place for me to be because I was just throwing things off to the side that made me happy. And I need to not do that. <laughs> so that is really... Um, what I wanted to say that I just I want to do this and I like doing this so I'm gonna make it a priority to myself so in addition to that I wanted to also be very honest with myself what I did on Goodreads is you can set your you know your 2018 reading goal how many books do you want to read this year last year I put 20 so you know what, this year I put 20 as well because I did not even come close to achieving that last year and that's okay, I'm okay with that. Um, but I think if I'm realistic with myself and I, you know, really step back and say, okay, this is what you can accomplish. So I set my goal at 20, which, you know, would maybe equate to like two books a month, a little under two books a month or something like that. So I picked out, we're at the beginning of January 
and I know I'm not gonna get three red this month. I wish I could be as quick and as comprehensive of a reader as so many other people are, but I'm not. So I picked three books that I really would like to get read in the next two months. Um, so I'm kind of bundling them together in the hopes that I can hit that 20 book goal by the end of the year. The first one, and this isn't so much a to read book as it is a freaking finish it book because guys, I started this thinking I was gonna love it. This is The Thief by Megan Whelan Turner. Um, it's from a series, uh, the Queen's Thief series. I mean, it really caught my eye and the synopsis just sounded so cool. Well, let me tell you why I need to finish it. It's because I got a hun I'm 155 pages in and nothing has happened. Nothing. Now, maybe that's just my opinion and if so, then so be it. But the whole concept of this book is that there is a character, his name is Jen um, or Gen, I don't know how people pronounce it, but he is a very talented thief and he was actually in prison, but he was taken out of prison um, by kind of this council to be taken along on this mission to find something that was out of a legend. You know, there is this like crazy powerful treasure that they need his help finding. So, you know, you think that sounds like a pretty cool adventure and you know, what is it that they need this specialized thief to go find and can he do it? Because he talks himself up to be this incredible thief and you kind of want to see what he can do. Well, 154 pages in and he hasn't done a damn thing. I know it's just the first book, but because I'm a slower reader, for me, I'm at the point where I'm just like, okay, is there anything gonna happen? Like you can only read so many chapters of a group of guys walking across a freaking horizon for so long. Sorry, maybe that's harsh, I'm sorry but it's been really, really hard to want to read this. I did stop, I'm about halfway through, and now I'm probably gonna have to backtrack to go and read it again. But we'll see, I'll, I'll update you on whether or not um, the thief steals anything ever in this book, ever. The next book that I kind of have at the top of my to be read book it to be read books is a darker shade of magic by V.E. Schwab maybe I'm a little bit behind the game because I know this was huge in 2017 but I received a candle from my whimsify box that was from this and the candle smelled so good that I just was like ooh what's red London and then I started to kind of look into it ooh I don't know, but I just like opened up to this page and it was real pretty. So I hear people rave about this. I know there's a few books in the um, series. So I'm really excited to see what's going on with this. The final book that I want to dedicate myself to reading in the next month or two is One Dark Throne by Kendari Blake. Kendar, Kendari Blake. This is actually the sequel to her first book, which is called One Dark Crown. I believe it was and it was about three sisters who were essentially separated at birth all of whom are born into this in innate ability one's great with the elements the other is I think they called her a poisoner and the, the what was the other one a naturalist so she was like really good with the environment and animals and basically it's this build up to a death match <laughs> between these three sisters over who's going to become the one queen because there can only be one. So I finished that book. That was a plot twist ending. I really liked it. I powered through that book. Um, so the sequel came out months ago, of course, but um, this is one dark throne and it says when the battle is done, the crown is won. So 
I'm really excited to continue that story and kind of see what crazy stuff happens next. Don't want to give anything away because it was a twist ending. <laughs> so these really are kind of at the top of my list here. As low as three, I cannot hold books. Books. <laughs> I can't hold them. Those three are kind of on the top of my radar um, to get done pretty, pretty soon. I'm not going to rush myself though because if I don't finish, I just know how I am, which I'm working on too. So thanks for listening um, to this heart to heart. I'm really happy to be back and trying to get back in the swing of things. I did miss it and I'm glad I made myself sit down to film this. Let me know if you relate at all, you know, if you kind of fell off the wagon with your booktube channel. What did you do to help kind of get yourself back into it? Obviously any advice is always appreciated. Uh, anything that you can offer me um, is, you know, is awesome. Here's to a late 2018 resolution goal. I'm going to try and be as consistent as I can this year and see where it takes me. So as always, thank you all very much for watching. I look forward to interacting with you all again and I'm happy to be back as the Happy Hobbit. Thank you very much guys. Give this video a like or comment or subscribe if you're not already. Um, you know I always appreciate it. So thank you very much and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye!